Okay, welcome to Code Five, and in this video, we're going to look at how to build a RESTful API that compresses images from remote sources. Now, we're going to build this API on Node.js, which means that everything that we're going to build is going to be written in JavaScript and is going to be runnable in the Node.js environment. Now, the main purpose of this app is to help us compress images. Now, images from remote sources or images from other servers that we want to render in our application, be it a web app or a mobile application. Let's take a look at this. I have this image from the Google service that I saw randomly on the internet. This image has a size of 202 kilobytes and it means that I use 202 kilobytes of my data to load this image. I also have this image which ha is the same image but this time around it has been processed using the API that I built with the Node.js. Now let's take a look at the size of this image. It's very very smaller as compared to what what I loaded from the Google service. Now we're having about 42.1 kilobytes, a difference of 160 kilobytes of data being saved. Now it means that if I'm to render these images, these two images on my mobile phone, I'm going to save much data rendering this one than the previous one. So this is the benefit of what we're going to build today. We're going to be able to compress images according to devices and according to the size that we want and save much of user data. And also we're going to give our users the best experience in terms of rendering images in our apps because the smaller the size of the image, the faster it renders. And also we're going to be able to save much of users' memory in terms of caching these images. It will take much less memory in caching this kind of image than the original one. And you don't see much difference in the two, not much difference. So let's take a look at how to build this awesome tool. So let's create a new project, a new node project that we're going to start building our app. So I'm going to open terminal in here. So you can go to any directory that you want. I'm using tutorials, node, image API. You can use any directory or any place that you want to and then open terminal over there so i'm going to write a simple command npm init to start my app it's going to run okay so the package name is going to be uh, node okay so let's take the image api or you can change it the version is 1.1 description node js image compression compression api and then the entry point is going to be uh, the js test command no Git repository. Okay, code five. Code five. Code five. Image. API. 
no QS auto could find license in my T yes all right so now we have our package the JSON created this is the most important thing that we wanted so let's go and add so very simple you need to include this seven dependencies and we are done all right so let's create our new file that we're going to call the app.js which is going to be the entry point for our app so app.js now over here we need to call all the apps logic everything in the app.js because this is where the app is going to run and this is where it's going to be run from so first of all we need to include the dependencies and i'm going to include by i'm going to call the variable app yeah it's going to be equal to require http and http is going to be added by default is going to be in there and then I require URL oh sorry I forgot to add this this dependency oh it's in okay okay so URL is over here so we go to and then we require require U R L and then we need to include the image compression. Yeah, we include the image compression dependencies. Dependencies. Okay. So let's come over here. And we're going to say image man is going to be equal to require okay. 
image so we're going to require image main image main jp jpeg tron is equal to require We're going to require image main Jupyter. Let me bring this guy here. Right. Image No we have image main. P and G cut line. Right. Is it called to require? Image. Oh, man. Image main P and J right. image image main mouse JPEG is equal to require. Image main and last but not the least on the image main farmers. Graphs scale girl yes girl is go to require image main graph scale. All right. So we import this and we also need to import one of the things that is going to be the remote image loader. We're going to use the got or GOT dependency for that one. So over here this is what we do. We also see GOT is equal to require G O T. Alright. And then we're going to have a new variable. Now we call it server. It's going to be the server that we're going to create uh, the app on because we're going to run the new the Node.js app. So we're going to say app dot create server. Now this has a function. So we're going to create a function, a separate function for it. I'm going to call it the init server function. And then we also come over here and say server dot listen. And then we pass in the port that we want to listen, the app on pass on look at how 3000 and then I'm using local, so local host all right so once we pass this on then we can terminate and then create the function that is called the init server so init server and then it's going to take two parameters we're going to say the request and then the response now we need to create something we're going to use 
we have we have to get the request URL. So in here we say bar request URL. is equal to url dot pass and then we pass this and we're going to now request dot and then we're going to pass the url then we pass the second parameter which is having pass query string we are going to say true so that in order to get an object of the query string of the URL now we can commit that and then we need to check something now over here we're going to check to see if there is a query string or something that we are querying for whenever the URL is accessed so we need to check that request URL dot search is not equal to empty. Now, if it's empty, please note that in here the request URL or the search is a string property. So if you pass it to the null, you're not going to get the actual result that we want. So we're going to say it's empty as in the string is empty. So if it's not empty, then it means that we're searching for something. There's a query that we want to find. So we need to get some constants. We need to get the file and the device with the definition which is if it's a d this is a third parameter that we pass so now we have the file that we want to fetch or the image file that we want to compress the device that we want to compress to or the targets of the device that we want to render the image to and we have the ad which is a boolean which means that if it's HD, we want to render the image in high quality. So we take this from the request URL dot query. All right. So once we done, we done that, we need to also check one thing, one important thing that we need to do. We need to check if there is actually a file that is provided in the query or in this yeah then in the parameters or in the query string if there is a file that we want to compress if there is none then we need to do that so else we need to do something else so over here we're going to say response dot and and now once we call the response dot end we need to pass in the message so we're going to say if there is nothing like that we're going to say missing missing image file so that's all and then if there is actually a file then we need to go on with the compression so first of all we need to declare variable that is going to be our quality quality that we're going to use and we need to check if the user wants the image in the HD and if the user wants the image in HD we have to pass in the quality as 90 percent and if the user did not pass in an HD, then we need to have a function called the get device quality. And now this device quality will take in the device. So we're going to take the device 
that the user passed. Now, to make sure that we we are able to get what we want, let's create this function called the get device quality. Now it takes in the device which is okay we leave it like this it should be so the quality you have a local quality over here so this is another quality which is by default which is by default 60 so now what it means is that if you don't define any quality we have to use the 60 percent or of the image quality we will re re return the 60 percent of the image quality so we then switch we then switch the device and see the type of device the user passed so we come over here let me screw it down okay we come over here and then we have a case of if it's mobile and in the mobile we have the two types we have the smaller mobile we want the quality is equal to 20 now let's copy this then bring over here so if it's mobile and it's medium we want the size is equal to 35 then we go more again if it's tablet tablet we want the size to be 40 no 50 and if it's let's say computer with medium medium screen we want to display in 70 and if is x um, computer computer and we want the excel then we display 90 so in Excel we literally dis display the HD version and by default we don't do anything so what we need to do here is to return quality alright so this is the function that we wrote to get the device quality and we come in here over here so we continue with the compression so we say one thing more we need to add is what we call the optimization level now this variable called the optimization level optimization level is going to be used by png image or images in png format they use what we call the optimization level and it ranges from one to three so the higher the optimization level the higher the compression so if you want to compress the png to uh no it's for gifs image images in gifs use the optimization level so if you want to compress the jif to a certain level that the compression is very high then you need to add a higher optimization level and start from one to three so we're going to check the optimization level so if hd so if the user define hd or device sorry or quality is greater than 60 
then we're going to say the optimization level is one or return two so it means that if the quality is less than the quality is less than 60 oh let me add this greater than or equal to 60 so if it's less than 60 then it means that we want to have a lower optimization level so now that we have defined our quality we need to get the far so we say got dot get and then we pass in the far now this take two more two parameters the far and options so this option you're going to say encoding encoding is equal to null and then it's a promise so we need to wait and then cut get the response so once the image is loaded we then get a response and I'm going to pass this as image response then the image response needs to be compressed now over here we're going to use the image main image main dot buffer and then we pass in the image response dot body and then we pass in the options or the plugins or the dependencies so we say plugins now these plugins are the tools that we want to use to compress the image and now the plugins is going to contain something so we're going to call image main first of all we call the image main gif sql and then calling the optimization level so optimization level and then we call enter enter is equal to true why get in there oh sorry we actually needed a carry brace not a square bracket so over here you need to correct it okay it's a carry brace not a square bracket all right so we call in the image no, let's see. and then let's call quality over here then we call image main then we call progressive is equal to true then the last but not the least is the image main penguin and then we call in quality is something like plus sign okay so we pass in the quality and then we wait for the response so we're going to say then because this is another promise that we need to wait now this is called the compressed 
compressed image let me come over here break it down go back and then pass in this so now we have the compressed image so we're going to say retain response dot end and then you call the compressed image very simple so let's then catch an error let's catch this error so catch oh no let's catch this now if you are compressing and there is an error we need to actually catch that error okay so first of all let's come here we get an error and then we're going to say return response dot and couldn't couldn't compress image then we're going to pass in there so we need to go to the next two lines and then concatenate the error message so error very simple and then over here to we need to also catch the error so we're going to say dot catch and then I pass in the error uh, we get this oh let's let's remove this so I guess it's a consistency in our code here to we return response dot end and then this is a different message so it's going to be couldn't load image from remote source okay source and then we go to the next two lines and add error very simple okay so let's come over here that's all that we need to do in this video so we need to test our application to see if it's run the way that we want so how are we going to start about it we need to go to the terminal terminal I skip one thing but you have to add it before you run your app so okay so in here we're going to say npm install and then once you install the dependencies you then can run the app okay so now the dependencies are done with installing we need to add few things so we need to run the app so we're going to say node then you call the app name now mine is the app.js maybe you name it anything you call that so we're going to say app.js then you press enter so once you press enter you're going to see that if you come over to let's say look our host 3000 okay so we're getting this message no JS image API and this message was specified oh okay so 
let's see if search so in here if, okay so we're going to add it here so we're going to say else response dot and what you call the node js image api so in here we just return the response over here so it means that you never specify anything like what we just did. We never specify any file. So that will happen. And let's say we specify for a parameter. So we have the, the next message that is going to be if there is no file. So there's response and then missing image file. All right, so let's specify image file which is going to be wrong and ID is equal to true alright so you see the difference um, let's turn the ID off and say device is equal to mobile SM okay so you see it's kind of um compressed to the lowest quality so let's say mobile fd then we go to tablet okay so on mobile md so we say device is equal to tablet all right and then in the tablets we need to have the next one the computer then empty then something like that computer md then excel all right so we see we get the h d so basically, this is what we wanted to do. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video.